Hello and welcome to Taik 18. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the next Power BI interview question and answers. So before going into that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So the next question is about what are the types of licenses we have in Power BI. The first is the free license and the next is pro license and the third is Power BI premium per user license we have in Power BI. So the next question is Power BI license type and capabilities. So what are the license type we have in Power BI and its capabilities. So if you see this table, you can see Power BI free, Power BI pro and premium per user. This is what we have seen in the last question. So the capabilities when workspace is in shared capacity and additional capabilities when workspace in premium capacity. So the, if you have the Power BI free, then you can access the content in my workspace and you can't share the content in other workspace or even you can't able to share your report with others. So that is the capabilities you have. But if you have the premium, then you will also get these permissions, whatever you have on the left side. And also you can consume content shared with them in premium workspace. So if there someone has shared to you, if you are in a premium workspace, then you can also view that report also. The next thing, if you have the Power BI Pro license at that time, then you can publish the content to other workspaces, share dashboard, subscribe to dashboard and reports, share with users who have Power BI Pro license. So, and apart from that, if it is in a premium capacity, then you will get all this plus distribute content to users who have free license also. And if you have the premium per user, then you can publish content to other workspaces, share dashboard, subscribe to dashboard and report, share with users who have premium per user license. This is the point to note. And in the premium capacity, you can distribute the content to users who have free and pro licenses. So these are the differences between these license and capacities. So what is Power BI premium Gen 2 limitations? So we heard about Gen 1 and Gen 2 and what are the limitations in Gen 2 which we have? So there is a 225 second limitations of rendering Power BI visuals. If the visual is taking longer to render, then this will be show and timeout error message on that particular visual. There is no memory limit for capacity as a whole. Instead, individual artifacts such as data set, data flow, paginated reports are subject to the memory purchase. A single artifact cannot exceed the amount of memory the capacity SKU offers. So these are the limitations of Gen 2. And what is the time limit for a Power BI data set refresh? Generally, if you have a pro workspace that is a shared capacity, in that case you have 2 hours you can refresh the entire data set. If it is taking longer than that, then it will throw an error for you. Whereas if you have a premium capacity workspace, then you will have up to 5 hours of time you can refresh the data set until that. So what is a hybrid table? We are hearing about this in a recently, right? So what is that one? If you see it on the right side of the image, we can see the record which is in the green color and everything is archived and which is in import mode. And on the yellow color, which is an incremental refresh, which is also in import mode. And on the direct query, which is a real time direct query, you can see which updates the data here on real time. So a hybrid table is a table with one or multiple import partitions and one direct query partitions. The advantage of a hybrid table is it could be effectively and quickly queried from in memory while at the same time including the latest data changes from the data source that occurred after the last import cycle. The easiest way to create a hybrid table is to configure an incremental refresh policy in Power BI desktop and enable the option get the latest data in real time with direct query which is only for premium feature. This is a premium only feature. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices 
share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video